When you were 15, did you want to wake up at 8 in the morning just to go to work at 9 in the morning while all of your friends were sleeping or having fun? Keep in mind all of this while living on a Caribbean island in the summer? Well, I was one of those few 15 year olds who did. I worked in an electronic store that was in the town at the center of the tourism on my island. The name of this store was Bullchance, and it resembles something like Target in America. My day-to-day -day activities would, come, would involve coming into work and greeting everybody in the environment, because this was something that Bullchance held dear to heart. After that, I'd go to the back, drop my bag off, and drink tea with my boss, who was only 25 years old at the time. It was a lot of fun being able to engage with him since he was only 25 and he also loved talking to me. I would then go to one of the counters and start to arrange all of the phones and games. For a 15-year-old, getting to play with all of these games and phones was a lot of fun because I'd get to fix all the Nokias with the Nokias, the Blackberries with the Blackberries, and then the iPhones. And I loved playing with the iPhones because it was, it was more brand new at the time and it was something that I really wanted to buy, which was a big deal as to why I was working so I could save my own money and get something for myself. I would then proceed to assist clients during the day and then negotiate. This is something that I learned a lot through this process at working at Bullchance because they teach you how to negotiate at levels that you would not imagine. I still remember the day where someone walked in and asked me for an Xbox and I knew that the lowest price I could go was 375 and so I offered him at 400. He slowly broke me down to 480 and I was like, no, this is it. It's 380 or nothing. He bought the product and I felt accomplished because I made $5 more than the target price and he bought the product. An hour later, he came back and said how someone else somewhere else gave him the product for 365. I was shocked. I didn't know how this was even possible because 375 was the target price. And so I simply told him, I'm sorry, sir, you must have a mistake. He was so shocked that I simply told him no, that he admitted to my face that he was lying and that he wanted to see if I would break to get to a lower price. He admitted and he went home being happy with his product at 380, where I still made a $5 profit. After this, at 12 o'clock, I would be really excited, not because I didn't like what I was doing, but because I finally got to go on my lunch break and enjoy lunch with my parents. A big deal for this was because my parents were so happy that I had my own job that they would treat me to lunch every day, to whatever I wanted to eat, and so I was always very excited. I would come back to work five minutes before time just because I wanted to leave a positive image of myself. I would then continue to assist customers and negotiate my entire day. So a lot of the good part about working here was that I learned how to talk to clients and how to negotiate with them. But also, the biggest highlight was being able to talk to all the employees there because they were all very engaging and warm-hearted. And in conclusion, I learned how to network with a lot of people, negotiate better, and most of all, have fun while working. Thank you.